Let's take a look at another tool to manually control fixtures, and those are our spectrum tools. I'm going to close up all the modules that I have open and pop open the spectrum. So just like a parametric EQ in the sound world, this lays out all of our color parameters across the spectrum and allows us to adjust each individual parameter in a more graphical view, right? You'll notice that I get a gray line that shows my actual combined spectral output. And if I have a gel picker open in the same module, I can look at a color on top of that by pressing and holding it. So you now see the dotted line indicates R32, and that allows me to compare my mix to the spectral distribution of that gel. If I don't want to preview that gel anymore, I can just close that dialog, and that dotted line goes away. This control allows us to control all types of color spaces. This is my seven color D40 luster. I can go ahead and grab a CMY fixture and that'll show up and I can control those parameters in the same way. It's a great way to get a good visual of what your fixture is outputting. Just like with my gel picker, there are multiple ways in a system that has more than three colors to get to the same chromaticity. So if I grab my desire again, there's a little checkbox on the bottom that says hold color point. And what that will do is allow me to adjust the individual emitters, but still hold my XY and my chromaticity. So with that enabled, as I move an individual emitter, the other emitters automatically adjust to hold that color point. So if I adjust an emitter too far, the console will let me know that my limit is reached. That means that I can't adjust that emitter any further without changing the XY. So for example, if you have a costume on stage, the color is right, but there's a little too much green popping out in the fabric, I can keep that color and just adjust the mix that gets me there. So in playing with these parameters, it's no different than manually controlling these on my encoder. I get the same result for control. And what's nice is if you don't have this display up, if you press and hold your color page button and roll your encoders, it's the same as holding your color point.